Don't know what that was. Moving on. Okay. No music. I know. It's like I don't even include music in my videos anymore. I don't know what's up. I don't know what's wrong. Sorry if you are a music lover. I am one too. Just, I don't know. It doesn't appear that way, at least of late. So, don't know why I said that. I felt the need to. Now we're gonna just move on. Let's move forward. So, DIY time. I don't like to show the actual DIY process, however, I like to show the aftermath. And so what I can do is just tell you guys a little bit about it, but I'm not going to be going through the specific steps physically. I won't be showing you step one through the end. We're just going to be talking about the after product, the product itself. So, you are still in suspense as you have not seen it, but this suspense is going to end right here, right now. Come with me. I'm going to awkwardly bring you over here. Enjoy my arm. So, here we have these hangers, just plain white plastic that can be found basically everywhere. You can get them thrifted, you can find them online, and of course you can go into stores like Walmart, places like that. So... Here we have it, by the way, these hangers, they have the little dents, the little dips, so that it can easier, easier, it can easily grab on to your items, your clothing. So that's a little fun fact, a little idea for you. <coughs> Whoa. Alright, so I have these cutesy little tags here, and they all say double O-T-D, and we know what that stands for, hopefully, outfit of the day which are really fun to do. So I use these four colors. We have blue, yellow, pink, and then green. And they're all pastel for the most part. Well, I guess the green's kind of like Forest Army. Depends on if you're looking at the tag or if you're enjoying the little clip right here. I don't even know what this is called. Why am I making a video if I don't know what the materials are exactly? Isn't it like a clothing pin, a wooden clip? Anyway, they're from my sister Haley. When she got married, we really went all out and we did a bunch of quirky, cutesy things. But anyway, back to the topic at hand. So those are in the same shades, just a little bit off in comparison, just different shades and tones. And it was really fun to make the tags. They have cute little colored borders. Other than that, they're black and white. And the main point is we go through the week. We go Monday through Saturday, and you'll see that on these little clips. I think they're like clothing, whatever. We're not going to discuss how I don't know their actual name. So, right, these are hangers specific for every day of the week. So, it makes it so that your outfit choice for the day isn't nearly as stressful. And it's less of a choice because you already had planned it in advance. So we're not going to be staring at those anymore. Okay, so there's that. Now the idea, of course it's a Pinterest idea. Let me show you, let me give you that screenshot here. So hers is also a tag style. This uploaded by Lindsay Person. Hers is black and white. It looks like it's that chalk type of pen writing utensil and her little clip is a lot smaller and hers says Monday and it's pink and striped and all cute. Mine are just larger. I feel like that's a little bit easier and more practical because you can easily spot it. It's really really sad. I'm just gonna tell you guys. So truth be told, let's be honest, they are currently on this side of my closet, which is the same side as my little racks and shelves. And thus, you can't exactly put clothes on them unless they're shorter crop tops, t-shirts, whatever, which I don't have a lot of. So it's not all that practical for me currently, not right now anyway. I'll be using it in the future. I'm going to be saving it for now, this little thingy this idea. And so I can't tell you that it works exactly. I know it obviously does. I've 
got the picture and I have an idea. It's just I personally can't use it as my closet is too full and as their location isn't practical enough for clothes to actually be draped on them. So saving that for the future, I was just real excited to make this DIY project and show you guys how it looks. Really all you need is some paper. I prefer cardstock. It's more durable and it can really, mm, I don't know what I'm going to say. And you just need a Sharpie. That's what I used for both the days of the week and the double O-T-D spelling, the letters. And then you can buy your little clippers, your little clippies, or you can paint them like I did, or you can use old ones you have, whatever. You can buy them colored, that's what I'm trying to say. You can also mm, do it like yourself. <laughs> I want to redo this video, but I just don't have the time to, so apologies about that. It's just a cutesy idea. You can, of course, go online and get more professional types, more, I don't know, they won't look as sloppy. I'm not saying that this necessarily has a sloppy appearance to it. It's just not nearly as nice. This is more of a quirky style and you can easily tell that somebody had made this by hand and it really shows. But I personally really love that style and I'm really glad that it turned out like this. So you just need some hangers, you just need a form of, is it clothespin? I think, a little clothespin clippy. Mine is wood, yours can be whatever, obviously. And then you just need the paper, don't know if I said that. So yeah, make it colorful, make it your own. Just an idea. I would use this, I'm really excited to use it in the future. My cause is gonna be walk-in. This is in the long away future, I guess, which means that I can't use this in forever but it's going to be so nice. You start your week with a plan and you fulfill it by the end of the week and it's great. Obviously it might not work with pants because the hangers tend to be on the smaller side. So now I'm getting rambly. I think this whole video has been rather rambly. I could have just showed you and said get this and this and that and then you're done. But yeah. Right, so let me just show you one though real fast and then I promise I'll end the video I'll let you go. So here's this one, it's all blue and what you do is you hole punch it, forgot to say that, also you're going to need a pair of scissors but I think that was self-explanatory and you're just going to hole punch it and then slip it on over the top, the little curl cane. So there you go, there you have it. Obviously you might need a bigger hole for what you are going to be using for your type of hanger. So there's that. Really, really cute. Really, really fun. It's nice because you can easily see the day. You can easily see it because of the size of this item. So that's really, really helpful and handy. And when they're side by side, as you can tell, let me show you just like this. Now I feel like I'm a little rod. <laughs> you can see that they just kind of overlap over each other and it's perfect. This is how I like to hang my clothes. I have the clothes facing the left side if that makes sense. So it would be like this. Some people they like it a different way. Sometimes they'll have the clothes facing this opposite side, the opposite way. But just with where my room is located and where the closet is positioned, well, where the closet is positioned, who cares how my room is located, what? Okay, so sorry, this probably made no sense at all whatsoever. Right, so you can get a Pinterest idea, you can take my idea, my thoughts, whatever. You don't have to do this, obviously, this is just an idea, it's just a little thought. And Pinterest can lie, it always looks cuter, whatever. It is. Usually it looks cuter than in actuality, than in real life. And that is the truth. That is the cold, hard, honest truth. Although, I will say I like mine more than I like that one. That's very rare. That is 
never spoken, those words are hardly ever used, I feel like. Pinterest, it's just ideal, it's perfect, it's perfection, it's what everybody wants, but sometimes, sometimes, you know? Sometimes it can be good, sometimes it can be bad. Okay, so now I'm going to shut up, and whatever, I'm gonna go. Okay, bye.